So I am six years alcohol free today. On this day, six years ago, I was in Austin, Texas at the South by Southwest Festival and I woke up with a hangover and I went to an IHOP, an international house of pancakes. I went there to have a hangover breakfast because I was like, oh man, I feel like, oh, I've got this headache. I'd had a couple of Bombay Sapphire gin and tonics the night before. Anyway, the sight of those IHOP menus with the big bright bold colours and these fat people around me eating like all you can eat, pancakes with maple syrup and whipped cream, made me go, oh, I have to take a break. So I decided I was going to take a 30 day break from alcohol just to see if I could do it. Now up until that point I was just a social drinker. I'd have a few drinks during the week, a glass of wine here, a glass of wine there, and then on the weekends I'd go a little harder, drink more excessively, go out on a Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday, I'd watch football or sport, have some beers. I was never an alcoholic but I always drank enough where it was just like a habit, you know? I kind of needed to drink on some occasions as well. Like, I was stressed out, so I'm like, I just need a couple of beers or a glass of wine just to calm me down. And then on weekends, it's like, I'm going to a party, I'm going to a wedding, I'm watching football, I'm going to have to drink. And it was like this social pressure to drink, right? Uh, or this, it was ingrained in my culture that it was just normal to drink. So when I decided to take a 30 day break from alcohol, it was a big deal. It was like, how the hell am I actually going to go 30 days? How am I going to get through 30 days? But I did. And the first seven days was kind of tough. My sleep was a little bit kind of weird and disjointed and people were going out and I was like locking myself in. So I can't go out. This is going to be boring and dull. And then I finally went out and socialized and I had water, ice and a piece of lime as my go-to drink or I had a Diet Coke or a soda. And uh, I didn't spend a lot of money, so I saved a lot of money. Uh, all of a sudden my sleep started to get better and then my sleep started to get amazing. Then when I woke up in the morning I had more energy, I'm like jumping up and down and feeling good. And then I realized that I was starting to lose weight, I was like a bit puffy in the face. And uh, I looked in the mirror, I'm like, geez, I think I'm losing a little bit of weight. And I got on the scales and sure enough I was dropping pounds. And then people started telling me going, well James, you look terrific, have you been working out? What's going on? I hadn't been working out. It was just the poison from the alcohol was leaving my skin. I was no longer dehydrated. After 30 days, get this, I lost 13 pounds of fat. 13. 13 pounds in 30 days I lost, just from quitting out drinking. I slept better, I had more clarity, I had more focus. And when I got to 30 days, I went, damn, I feel so good, I'm just going to keep on going. So I kept on going, and I got to 40 days, and I went, I'm going to see if I can get to 50 days. And I got to 50 days, and I went, I'm going to see if I can get to three months. And then I got to three months, and guess what happened? I got my my dream job. I, I landed a job hosting Sports Center on ESPN as a TV presenter, and I credit me getting that job to the fact that I wasn't drinking, because I had this clarity, had this focus. Relationships started to get better. In other words, instead of me hanging out with a bunch of people who were getting drunk all the time and like spending all their money on cash, I was spent, I was starting to naturally attract people into my life who were more interested in deeper conversations, who were more interested in health and fitness and nutrition and happiness. I started going to the gym, I started lifting weights like this, I started getting some, I don't really, can't really show you through the shirt, but I've got, trust me, I've got like some muscles going on now. So I started exercising, I started getting strong in the gym, saving money, 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 so much money I saved. When are you drinking? Man, it just goes. You spend $50 here, $30 there, $100 there, a couple bottles of wine there. That stuff adds up. So when I quit drinking, I wasn't spending the money on alcohol, so I had more money in here in my, in my, uh, in my pocket. So I just kept going and going and going and going, and my friends are like, dude, what are you doing? Here, have a drink, have a drink. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm too strong. I'm too strong in mind. I'm too strong. So I just kept going and going and going. And I got to one year, and I was back in Austin, back at the South by Southwest Festival. I went to the Luster Pearl Bar in Austin, and I went and ordered a Budweiser to go and celebrate one year without drinking. And I went to put it to my mouth, and I smelt it, and i got to be honest, it smelled really good. I was like, ooh, this is going to taste good. And I went to put it to my mouth, and at the last moment, I went, you know what? The benefits and the pros and all of the positives of not drinking far outweigh any temporary pleasure that I'm going to get from having this beer. So I just went, you know what? I changed my mind. Give me a water, ice, and a piece of lime instead. So the barman took the drink back, gave me a water, ice, and a piece of lime. I drank that. And guess what? I haven't touched alcohol since. Have not touched a drop of alcohol. It's six years today. Six years today since I woke up with that hangover and went, I'm going to take a 30 day challenge. I'm not drinking. And so here I am now, jumping up and down, <laughs> feeling good, feeling fresh.
feeling energized, doesn't mean that I go through down patches, I do. Sometimes I get a little bit depressed about things, sometimes I get stressed out, but now rather than reaching for a drink, an alcohol, a beer and wine to try and calm my nerves and relieve my stress, now I just go and exercise, I run, or I breathe, or I listen to the Calm app. You can download it in iTunes, it's called Calm, C-A-L-M, or Headspace, which is another good one. Or I'll call a friend, or I have a nice tall glass of ice cold water. So I'm not putting more dead calories into my body, I'm not dehydrating myself, I'm not feeling tired and lethargic, I'm not coughing up money the whole time. So now I'm feeling awesome. Is it your turn? Is it your turn? To take a 30 day break from alcohol? I've closed down the 30 day no alcohol challenge program in uh, in March. It's closed. You can't get in right now. I closed it down. But I'm reopening it on March 27th. So if you want to go in April, 30 days, 30 days is September, April. There's 30 days in April. So if you want to do 30 days without alcohol in April, go to 30daynoalcoholchallenge.com. Put your email address in there on the early bird notification list. I'll send you an email to remind you on the 27th when you can enroll again. If you want to do it, go to 30daynoalcoholchallenge.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking right here. And make sure you put your phone up and follow me on Snapchat. You know, you put your phone up and you take the screenshot and you automatically follow you on Snapchat. You know what I'm talking about. You can do that right there. When you do that, you're gonna be able to follow my daily life, little 10 second videos, and I'm gonna be giving you awesome little tips on how to live the good life. So go ahead, subscribe here, follow me on Snapchat there, and I'll wait for you, okay?